everyone. Okay, so this is going to be my May favorites. And yeah, I don't really have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. But anyways, let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with nail polish. So yeah, I only have three. Um, the first one that I'm going to start off with is from Sinful Colors. And this is in Big Daddy. I like the movie. And it's just like this corally orange focus. And yeah. Like I was really looking forward to... Like I'm getting neon colors because I like neon colors. Um, but this wasn't so neon. So I need to go back to Walgreens and get neon colors. But anyways, this is still, this is pretty sheer. You need like three coats. Like I don't, I wasn't thinking when I was getting it because if you didn't already know, you can tell a nail polish is sheer by like, you know, if you can see like the little metal balls inside. They look like BB balls, but whatever. So yeah, I like this nail polish. The next two are from Sally Hansen's Extreme Wear line, and I have two. So, this one is in Sunkissed, and this is this is just like a pastel orange. I have it on this finger. Better on this finger. So, yeah. And this is a pastel blue, and it's in Blew Me Away. And, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, like, my friend Marissa, she always has, like, a bunch of bright nail polishes, and I'm just like... Where are you getting these from? Okay, the next is a NYX lip cream, soft matte lip cream. And I don't know what color this is in, so I'm sorry. But this is just like a kind of corally pink. I don't know. It's not your basic pink, but my mom's camera wasn't doing the color justice. But this is what it looks like. I blushed it right here. It's still kind of there. And I'm wearing it on my lips. It smells like, um, cupcake mix. Concealer quad, and this is from Avon, and it's the Look Perfect Concealer Kit. And it's in light medium. So, this is what it looks like. I used up the bright one for my under eyes because, you know, I just need it. Um, so that's sad. I really need to get a new, just like, concealer in general that doesn't go so fast because cream... Concealers go fast for me, especially these because they're really, really creamy. That's like butter soft. But yeah. So the ones that I'm just using now is this one. And this is for blemishes. If you have any recommendations on concealer, let me know. Next is a liquid eyeliner. And sadly, I don't know where this is from. It's not a Maybelline one because I know Maybelline has similar packaging to this. But if you have any good recommendations for felt tip eyeliners that don't really... That are like really black and don't like transfer on your eyelids, like up here, because I have really oily eyelids. So let me know. Is that like, if you know a felt tip eyeliner that doesn't do that? Okay, so, anyways, I don't know where this is from, so I'm sorry. But, anyways, it looks like this. It's really, really old, so I'm not even gonna show up close. Um, but I'm surprised that it still has like ink. But yeah, I really like this eyeliner, except it's not all that black. It's kind of like gray. It's gross. I'm wearing it today. Next is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And this is pretty basic. It's just like a white eyeshadow base. So, it's white. Trust me. Next are some colors that are in my Naked palette. This is... Yeah, there's only two that I like. Been loving. Um, which is Sin and Naked and... Yeah, that's it. The next thing is a face powder, and this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in Transparent. And it just looks like that. I mentioned this in my drugstore kit for beginners. And yeah, so this is a long-lasting flawless matte coverage with mineral makeup. I meant mineral, mi natural minerals. And yeah, it's shine control. And it does work on shine control. Shine. Taking away your shine. Um... But yeah, that's what the packaging looks like if you're interested. And yeah, so this is in transparent, so it doesn't have a color to it. I don't know why I got this, but when I put it on with my brush, it like it looks white. I don't know if that happens to people, but I tried buffing it in. I don't know. It makes my face look whiter. I just applied some. Tell me if my face looks whiter. But anyways, yeah, I really like that powder. Only downside to it, it smells like old lady, so 
yeah, you don't really even smell it. Yeah, you don't smell it when it's on your face. But in the pan, you can smell it. Okay, so that was it for beauty favorites. Now I'm just going to move on to the stuff that's on my iPod. Okay, my favorite YouTuber of YouTubers of the month are still the same. Timothy DeLaghetto and Danny Noriega. Like, Danny Noriega and me need a meet. Not in a creepy way because, yeah, not creepy. But, like, <laughs> like Danny Noriega is my idol. Like, this is Miley Cyrus because she's my idol too. And there's Danny Noriega and he's just making his way up there. So, yeah. But look at this picture that I made of us. Okay, so that's me holding my nephew up there. And then, like, him just in the background. It's really cool. That's my wallpaper. But, anyways, you know. So, I've really been liking Instagram and Twitter. So, Instagram and Twitter. My favorite songs, um, I'm gonna, I have like a list. Um, the first one is One Thing by One Direction. I really like Where Have You Been by Rihanna. I like Somewhere in Brooklyn by Bruno Mars. I like Marry You by Bruno Mars. And I like... That's it. Yeah, that's that's all I have. Okay, so I almost forgot one important thing that I always use. Like, okay, this is my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Without my eyebrows filled in, I look like crap. So I really just use the um, light brown one. I used to use the gel dark brown one because I thought, you know, it looked better. But it really even didn't. It just looks like my eyebrows were, like, black and my hair was, like, light. Like, I had highlights at the time, so it didn't really look good. But now I, I use my light brown one, and it's really, really soft and creamy. Not creamy, but, like, really soft, like, velvety soft. And I really, 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 really like it. And you need to check this out. Like, it's compared to the Clinique one, because I use that one. I could beat the Clinique one. But I really want to try the Benefit or the Too Faced Brow Kit. So, yeah. Tell me your favorite concealer and felt tip eyeliner that doesn't smudge when it's really black down below because I really need to know deuces